First there was a car and then the immediate requirement of let there be light occurred. Imagine yourself driving a car without the headlamps. Kind of makes it look blind, doesn't it? Like no eyes? Well, yes, the headlight does account for the most important light in the entire lighting system of automobiles. However, it would be criminal to not give enough credit to the rest of them. Hello and welcome to Overdrive. I'm Onirjeet and I'm back with more facts and insights on automobiles. Today, we are going to talk about the lighting system in vehicles. Let's get on with it. A vehicle has several set of lights attached to it, which serves different purposes. The first and foremost is the headlight, the one mounted on the front of the car, which provides for illumination during the dark and also supports the driver in making his or her presence felt to fellow drivers on the road. Through the years, the headlight has seen quite a lot of innovations, making it for four different types of headlamps now available in the market. The basic one, an incandescent bulb with a filament filled with a noble gas in which the electric power converts heat to light, hence producing a yellow beam. Although this one has a lower lighting range than its successor, it is still one of the oldest and most widely used headlight type out there. Headlamps have grown in a similar way. Lamps in our houses have evolved through the years. First, we had the yellow filament bulb, then came the CFLs, and the xenon or projector lamps are exactly that, where the electricity is passed through two electrodes in the presence of xenon gas, illuminating it and producing a white light. This gives an increased range than its predecessor and is much, much brighter. Light emitting diode. We all know that. Same ways, LEDs are also used in headlights, making it more energy efficient and brighter and also produces negligible amounts of heat. LEDs are right now cheap and last longer than its counterparts and are also versatile and can mold itself into any shape or form, giving better design choices to manufacturers. This makes LED headlamps one of the most popular ones used in majority of vehicles right now. Although there are some vehicles which make use of a more expensive technology, where they combine the two and make LED projector headlamps, which we find in high-end vehicles. The future under these sure look bright. Developed by Shuji Nakamura, who won the Nobel Prize for this innovation, says that these laser lights can illuminate things almost a kilometer away, making it 10 times brighter than LEDs and more efficient too. Definitely more expensive than anything out there, hence this one finds its application in the likes of the BMW i8 and the 7 Series. Pretty expensive. As the name suggests, the tail lights illuminate the back of the car and the number plate to keep things visible for other drivers on the road. They are also fitted with red blinkers to give out braking signals to other drivers behind them. These are there in the back of the vehicle and generally is white or yellow. This gets engaged when the driver puts the car in reverse and this helps the driver with visibility and also as an alarm for other cars on the road. AKA indicators. These are yellow blinker lights on either side of the vehicle, front and back. And these are also used for indicating movement of the vehicle. Where you go right, you signal right and the other one is obvious. These are also used as hazard lights when your car is broken down in the middle of the road. This helps others spot the car from a distance and act accordingly. Well, I can't emphasize the importance of using these, especially in Indian roads, enough, though, ever. The name says it all. When the brakes are applied, the lights at the rear of the vehicle glow red, and this signals the driver behind the vehicle about the slowdown to act accordingly. The lights are connected to the brakes which, on application, completes a circuit to make the lights in the rear glow. These are not quite available in every vehicle out there, but are essential during foggy or rainy weather when visibility is low. These are generally placed in front at a low position to light the road better and give an extended vision to the driver. 
Generally bright yellow in color, these also come in white. Although the popular opinion for fog lamps is that halogen lamps work best as fog lamps. Although there are a lot of cars which give out LED fog lamps, which, well, could be better, could not be better. The debate goes on. DRLs, as it's more popularly called, these are the new rage among all car segments, almost making it a design staple now in cars. Generally made of LEDs, these are low intensity white lights which are placed on or under the headlamps and are constantly running as the vehicle is operated. These generally help other drivers to spot the car easily and also majorly as a glam quotient in vehicles. There you go, our bit on lighting in the vehicles. I'll be back again next week with more facts and insights on automobiles. Hit the like button and subscribe to the YouTube page of ODMag and follow us on Instagram. I'll see you next week.